Namaste. Welcome to the Food Quest India's Travel Tales edition. This episode is about our journey in Karnataka's mining capital, Ballari. It is about the food we enjoyed, the people we met and the culture we experienced. We took a train to Ballari. We reached early in the morning and freshened up and headed straight to the Durgama temple. The Durgama temple is dedicated to Goddess Durga, the patron deity of the city. Along with its religious significance, the temple is considered to be an architectural masterpiece. Next, we visited Pola Paradise for breakfast. This is a 25-year-old eatery which is famous for its South Indian food. A combination of relaxed ambience, yummy food and good service makes this a great breakfast destination. We tried their koi nidli, masal dose, puri sagu and filter coffee. To know which among these was our favourite, check out our detailed video. After a satisfying breakfast at Pola Paradise, we headed out to our next destination, the Ballari Fort. This is built on top of a hill called Ballari Gudda or the Fort Hill. This fort is of historical importance and hence is a protected monument under the Archaeological Survey of India. To reach to the top of the fort, it is a half an hour hike, but unfortunately we are not allowed to go today, so it's closed down. Since we couldn't hike to the top of the fort, we decided to enjoy the beauty of the fort from a distance. After spending some time at the foothills, we decided to continue our journey to the next pit stop. Ballari's vegetarian food culture was a blessing for us. We stopped at Sri Gauri Hallimane Uta to try out some village style plantain leaf vegetarian meals. We loved the rustic vibes this place carried. Before relishing the food here, we went into the kitchen to witness the making of these authentic dishes. Everyone in the kitchen was busy in their own work with the main motto of making and serving the best food to their customers. We saw the making of chapati, authentic jolad roti, obbattu, rice and sambar. Watching the making of all these dishes made us all the more hungry. We rushed to the cash counter, grabbed our food coupons and were ready for batting. Savored a host of dishes ranging from jowa roti, chitranna, engai, kaal palya, rice, drumstick sambar, rasam, greens and finally ended it with some ubatu. Though we had the urge to head back to our room for a nap, we decided to continue the tour further. Where next you ask? Watch on. About 50 kilometers away from Ballari lies a quiet and serene town called Sandur. While traveling from Ballari to Sandur, we drove past JSW Energy's Vijayanagar plant and a lot of scenic beauty. This place gave us vibes of the very popular movie KGF. On the way to Sandur, we made a pit stop at Narihalla. This is a scenery formed by the backwaters of Tungabhadra Dam. The calm and mesmerizing view charged us up for what was ahead. This breathtaking view that you are witnessing is from Mahatma Gandhi viewpoint in Sandur. Mahatma Gandhiji had visited Sandur in 1934. He had described Sandur as an oasis and said it should be seen in the month of September. We were fortunate enough to witness and enjoy the beauty of Sandur in September only. This brings us to the end of this video, but this is not the end. Stay tuned for part 2. Hope you liked our video. Let us know how you felt in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. 